Yes, hey, you. Squiddies <laughs> is Dre Tattoo Squid Podcast here with Serena and Naomi from the Weird Mythic Podcast. Yes. My first, my first question, how are you doing? Oh, well, I'm doing well. I'm, I'm glad to be here and I was able to get on to record with you guys. Yeah. Traffic was insane. <laughs> Serena, how are you? Gosh, it's been great. It's It's been busy, but... I'm doing, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> and, and my other question is, have you had the mythic pizza? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pizza. I haven't been to the East Coast to have mythic pizza, no. Or mystic I, pizza. When it, when it, when it, oh, oh, mystic. Oh, oh. Mystic. I, oh, oh, and I, oh, I, hey, man, it. I was there with you, though. I know what you were talking about. I, I know. I was like, oh, man, I'm going to go like this. And then they were like, oh, yeah, do that. I'm like, okay. And all of a sudden, <laughs> I thought about it. I'm like, you sons of bitches. Yeah. <laughs> You set me up to fail again. <laughs> you, that's it. I want to, I want to do something to them, and I'm not gonna say what because I don't want people going. Oh, that's fatalism. No. Oh, <laughs> so wrong, so wrong. No, I know it's not. <laughs> no, we call it, it. It's wrong, but the people I know, we call it like, oh, that's only him. Yeah. You're right, right. Yeah, I'm like that's <laughs> right. I'll do it again. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, so where are you guys from? I mean, are you in the same state or are you in different states? We are now in different states, so mm -hmm. we both lived in California, connected. We were co-workers, mm -hmm. and I moved to Texas in November, so yep. not too long. I've been here, separated from my friend. <laughs> <laughs> my my only friend in Sacramento <laughs> left. <laughs> Long-distance relationships. You know. yeah, it's been a little rough on the podcast, not going to lie, but we're trying to get back into this. We're on a hiatus right now. So okay. we'll be back in March. Yeah. Yeah. We still have some uh, shows that we want to do some research on and get recorded. So we do have some stuff lined up. We just, yeah. you know, just give us a minute. We're getting everything together. <laughs> <laughs> now how, how does that go? We call like when you do, uh, yeah, we'll get into like what your podcast is about, mm -hmm. but I know you do the deep dive research and all that. And where do you find like the names of, these certain things is it from california or where you live or you know just you know like the certain cryptids i guess they call it yeah so um, Honestly, go ahead Nate. you go ahead well, You're better what, at I explaining. Gonna, I will, <laughs> well what i was gonna say is like i don't think either of us have one specific place where we get any of our ideas on cryptids or ideas on odd things happening in the world hmm. um we just like like there's plenty you could pretty much just google like cryptids in california cryptids in ohio cryptids in this state or that state you're gonna get a huge list of them yeah. so i always try to look for ones that i've never heard of before or i try to find just random stories that sound interesting that i haven't heard of before that's how i kind of do my research yeah. or like um if i'm watching a show or i'm listening to another podcast and they mention something that sounds interesting I write it down and put it in my notes in my phone, and then I just do a little bit more research afterwards. Oh, nice, nice. Because I, I, yeah. I think when I first started listening to your uh, to the podcast, we call it like the very early, I guess, the <laughs> earlier ones in the beginning. And then I'm like, cryptids. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, is it some kind of slang? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I, was, I didn't really know it. And then I think when I was talking to uh, V. Which mm -hmm. you guys have done like I think, an episode or two with uh, V and uh, you know Ivy, how you doing? Anyway, so um, <laughs> uh, we call it that. You know, you, all about cryptids and and, mm -hmm. and everything like what, what bumps goes in the night. And, <laughs> uh, you know, because I had that problem many times. <laughs> okay, maybe it was drinking involved, but you know, <laughs> it, it, it was some bumpiness we could that it was like unforeseen and some stuff that mm -hmm. you know you, you can't really understand and, and explain you know but yeah uh, have you ever had any kind of phenomenon happen to you guys or 
Honestly, no, I haven't. And I think that's like one of the reasons that we are so interested in it because it's completely foreign to us. And I don't know, the amount Mm -hmm. of research you do, you just, you find for every one thing that you research, you find 10 more things that you need to go research. So it's honestly endless and we're jotting stuff down. We have the longest Excel spreadsheet of episodes that we're going to (laughs) do. So I think this podcast will go on for years. Oh, yeah, there's it's never ending. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I can't think of any instance that I've seen any sort of cryptid. Um, but I would love to have that experience. I'm, I would never tell somebody, oh, you never saw that. That's a fake made up animal. Like, no, I, I, I'm sure you saw something. And if there's some sort of lore around that, I want to find out more about where that came from. And yeah, I don't think I've ever seen any cryptid. I would love to see Bigfoot at some point. I'm in the right area. (laughs) Not really. Is there really a Bigfoot? I mean, honestly, I, I, there's, I have a friend and we nicknamed him Bigfoot because, he has big fucking feet now <laughs> and he like i'm six two depending on what 7-eleven you're in uh <laughs> but i know that's a corny joke but anyway uh you know he's like six 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 seven mm-hmm. or whatever so he's like a huge fucking guy and you know that's what we call him bigfoot but i mean mm-hmm. honestly i don't know i've never seen you know but like i said it's like stuff that you go camping and you hear stuff like what the hell's that yeah. right and then you yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. it's just the unknown i think that we like because you never know what's out there i mean to, to be so i don't want to say small-minded because that sounds bad but to be so say like closed in, off closed off that's better <laughs> to say that we're the only like us out there i mean and then we get into the alien topic too which is something we're going to cover but that's just so many episodes such a broad I think I mentioned yeah. aliens in like every other episode every or like other it could episode. be aliens could could be aliens yeah. you never Everything know is aliens to Naomi so <laughs> you know it's like open your mind and it's like oh there's an alien he's gonna open our mind yeah. right oh my god yeah. Yeah, it's so, an alien I mean, we're, we're definitely open to the discussions <laughs> and I love talking to skeptics about it because you just get a different point of view I'm so open to everything I agree. though I think that everything is possible yeah I mean, there, there is stuff out there. I mean, I'm not going to say, oh, no, there's nothing really out there. Actually, there's a funny, okay, it's not really a funny story. My friends don't think it's a funny story. They're like, listen, there is a lot of, because I live in Long Island, New York, and mm-hmm. they uh, there's like certain phenomenon stuff, you know, they have a kind of, uh, you know, documented. So, you know, they were like, hey, well, you know, there's a place where, you know, you go down to this bridge and then you flash the hazards, you know, not the hazards, uh, the high beams. And I'm like, okay, you flash the high beams and then it's supposed to be like you can see like five or six people hanging from the the, huh. the bridge, you know. But then we get there, we get there, and this is the funny part though, because we get down and we're driving and this guy's like, uh, uh, oh, like the smallest fucking car you could think of <laughs> and we're driving down this narrow road and it's pitch dark and there's woods everywhere and it's like scary looking but he has like the bright lights going on and he's playing batman's theme song like <laughs> super fucking loud and we're just driving down there and you know and then all of a sudden i'm like on my phone and his girlfriend was like because she is like the most scared person ever mm. and she's yeah. trying to think that she's gonna scare me i'm like i love horror movies you're not gonna scare me Right, he's like, I'm more excited than anything. Yeah, all of a sudden after she goes, well, your phone might not work in this one. The phone, you know, the phone is, um, no, there's no signal. And all of a sudden she's sitting in the front seat and I'm like, oh, okay, we'll see what happens. And all of a sudden I just go, you know, and like scared and she just jumped up like, you know, like, oh shit. I'm like, and you're trying to scare me? I'm like, the fuck is this about? You know, next thing you know, you hear, you know, this whole like Batman sequel, yeah. you know, and he's driving like, <laughs> you know, going like that. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be a fun fucking ride. We're not even drinking. We're just drinking coffee and shit. Um, <laughs> but then we got there. And he flashed on high beams and there was like nothing really there. But mm-hmm. I found out from a couple of friends that said, we call it, there is like a, uh, what do they call them? One of those uh, like psychiatric wards. Okay. That are, down the ways and you know there was like a nurse that took uh 
you know, like some kids like into the woods and I guess murder them. I don't know the whole story. Oof. I don't want to give like some kind of blank yeah. uh, thing about it. So, you know, I, I'm not doing like what your job is, you know, basically. You know, <laughs> well, you got my interest in peaked, man. Yeah, you got, now I'm probably like interested. Be... I'm like... <laughs> Well, now I need to know one of our this. episodes. I know it. Yeah, just look up Long Island, um, and they have a different amounts of uh, stuff. I know I, I do like research, but not like deep dive, like you know, books on top of books, and you can't find me kind of thing. You know, where you know you're in the library, like hold on, can you give me the old volume? Oh, 36 of them? Okay, bring them over. Yeah. Uh, all 36 books. I yeah, need all yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah, that's Naomi. <laughs> Naomi is that type of researcher. I am, uh, I like the, she likes the background stories a lot. I do. In the kind of coming of whatever stories, how, how it came to be. I yeah. like the afterthought and the writings and like people's stories on that a little bit more so. You definitely get a mixture when you listen to us and you can definitely tell the different research styles. She is very much super, super thorough. I'm kind of like, I got <laughs> what I need to get. Here's the bullet points. Type of thing. I, I, I just <laughs> but you always I'll, come back with good stories, girl. I, yeah, I try hardest <laughs> on the story. It's for sure. <laughs> I, I like the fact that we could, when I, when I listen to the podcast, it's like, you know, one tells a story and then the other one, I can just picture it like, Okay. <laughs> that, that's like how I, I was like, yeah. what's next, Serena? Yeah, what's, what, going, what's on next? going on next? <laughs> yep. Really? Holy shit. You know, but half the time you hear somebody else's podcast, like, oh, hold on. Let me get another beer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was episode one and two for us. We're like, ah, popping yes. the beers open. And... Yeah. I think I heard something about whiskey at one point in one of those episodes. I'm like, oh, whiskey? Now? No. Whiskey? Oh, but I'm like, I'm oh. listening to like seven o'clock in the morning. I'm like, they're on now. <laughs> yeah. yeah i'd be we asleep recorded... two hours after that yeah we have recorded some early mornings and definitely whiskey mm -hmm. probably would have helped us get through it so. no you said that you guys were like co-workers you know or mm -hmm. were co-workers and you know how did you two besides being co-workers did you like click or did you just like you met like you know how long in between you know you know what i mean like, man it was pretty I, quick, honest, I feel. Yeah, I feel like we, well, I, it, I, I don't know. I think I'm easy to get along with, and it was easy for me to connect with Serena. And just, we both worked like a later shift. So it was a, yeah. a lot of time it was just her and I for like the last hour, hour and a half, two hours at work. Yeah. And we realized that we have stories that we're both interested in. Like, hey, did you hear about this? No, tell me about it. <laughs> like and then oh you know what that reminds me of this story i heard about this strange thing that happened and then we just kind of it snowballed oh, okay. after that yeah, yeah like i think oh i'm sorry go ahead no I, I was gonna say i think actually bigfoot was the topic that kind of brought it and i think we were kind of talking as a group in the office and then we started talking about it for days after so when, we, when everybody would leave mm -hmm. we'd get back into the conversation and then out of nowhere I think it was me. I was like, we, like it was you. wouldn't it be cool it was to you. start a podcast? Like, we should totally start a podcast about this. And then we thought nothing of it. We both go home. I come in the next day. I'm like, Naomi, I researched for hours. Like, I know how to start a podcast. So she's like, I was looking stuff up too. <laughs> and then it kind of just happened. It was very yeah. quick. After after that, we should start a podcast. I want to say it was within two weeks. Two to three I agree. Weeks. Yeah. 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 It, what was funny is we both had the same kind of like ideas when we got home, like, I wonder if she's serious. Like I'm doing a little bit of research and we both like started it. And then we both kind of admitted to each other, like, you know, I wasn't sure if we, this was really going to happen or if this was just talk, you know? So yeah. I was, I was happy when we went through with it and it's, I, yeah, it's we've met a lot of really cool people and I'm super, For I real. love the podcast community. I'm so sad that we're on a break right now, but mm -hmm. I think it's going to be for the better. We're going to come back even stronger and it's just going to be so effing dope. Right? <laughs> I know because I was like because uh you know like, like you said the community uh for like Twitter and podcasts all alike and mm -hmm. everything else I mean everybody you know was like oh my god Twitter this Twitter that that's for celebrities I'm like no not really you got you know podcasters and you know and people that love horror stuff and yeah and whatnot so they got like a whole different sections of anything you know 
So mm. it's just what you know. You put it on there. You're like, I like this. I like this. I like this. I like yeah. This. Yeah. Right. But yeah, it's just uh, a way Twitter for was, people to connect. Yeah, Twitter was where it really kicked off for us. I think yeah. we met. We've met so yeah. many cool podcasts through Twitter. Most of our guests, all of our guests, actually have been through Twitter. All of them so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys like started. With, uh, you said you started like a year and a half ago, probably. Not yeah, even. No, uh, Not even. <laughs> the last week of July, twenty twenty one. So. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We're not even a year old yet. <laughs> oh man, we caught. I thought you got because everybody else is like, "Oh, I did it like before COVID fucking hit," you know, and <laughs> and I'll do like that. And I mean, my thing was like, I always wanted to do something like in radio, and I don't, I don't want to go and go into a, a droll, and dragged out <laughs> thing. Cause like I said, it's like once and maybe five times. Uh, you know that. I'm like, you know, there's like a radio DJ kind of type of thing. Mm-hmm. But then they, they know, it's like, hey, why don't you just do a podcast? And I'm like, okay, I don't have to go to school for that shit. I'm like, all right, cool. You know? <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that's, it's all independent. And you yeah. really just control it all yourself, which yeah. makes it even really more like, fun. I really like that. I like the indie style podcast versus having a contract with somebody. And I like that we can do whatever we want. We've done mm-hmm. episodes that have nothing to do with paranormal yeah. anything just because it fits into our brand of weird and unexplained yeah so mm-hmm. i think we picked a good broad enough topic to <laughs> for real <laughs> go on forever <laughs> i mean do you have like a do you do like seasons i guess uh like everybody else i think does like certain kind of seasons like you say you're taking a hiatus so is that yeah. like the start of like say a second season that you're gonna do or maybe but we haven't we, we don't really do seasons it's kind of just we post weekly or we yeah. were mm-hmm. so every friday we were doing um and honestly i don't i don't really understand the seasons thing yeah. unless you're doing like a storytelling kind of podcast yeah. to me it doesn't make any sense i don't think that it's necessary to have season one you know, because mm-hmm. for our podcast, it is so broad and we can go on about anything and everything. Yeah. yeah. The one thing that we do constantly do at least once a month, if not twice a month, we will specifically talk about a cryptid. Yeah. So that's the one thing that we're definitely solid on because that's what started the show and that's what started the podcast yeah. and our interest. So we always try to maintain that at least once a month, have just a cryptid or two. I think those are everybody's favorites as well they are (laughs) those are the episodes that get the most feedback we have the most downloads on those episodes Mm -hmm. and Uh, my brother just gets really excited about them so (laughs) yeah anything you know at least i know he'll be really excited (laughs) yeah isn't it weird though like you know because i figured okay there's like you you look at your uh like whatever platform you're using and then you see how many people is listening to this like in what country or what state and all that (laughs) yeah but then you find out, like, from your own family that they do listen, you know, to yours, you know, because they don't listen to, like, podcasts. Yeah. Or they don't <laughs> listen to, like, anything, you know, other than that. But, mm-hmm. you know. But I, I, I was, I went I went to my sister and my brother-in-law's house. And he goes, and I mentioned about they had some kind of, like, I'm not saying they had an entity or something at their house. But it was just weird because... First off, it was like I walk in and my dad's sitting there and he's like, and he's looking at this fork. And honestly, the fork was going like this on a table. Okay. And, and just going like that. But I'm thinking, okay, it's the, 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 the heater thing downstairs probably. And you get down there and it's like, there's no vibration. There's no nothing. There's no whatever. So I didn't know what the fuck that was. And then we get back upstairs and, well, I mean, I do. I get back up and my brother-in-law is uh actually downstairs as well so when i got up and all of a sudden after i'm like you hear something like boom boom like somebody just jumped and landed like on the roof or on in the attic like somebody was in the attic and i'm like is there anybody else home and it's like no i'm down here and you're over there and i'm like it sounds like somebody's jumping up and down in the attic and he goes oh we heard that about three or four times already and i'm like the fuck you know <laughs> so three I'm like, to four I'm times out. i don't know what it was and i'm like so i did a <laughs> podcast about you know i talked about that i'm like oh i'll talk about this and then all of a sudden the next day he goes yeah uh i heard your podcast 
when I was sleeping. You know, thanks for telling everybody <laughs> what you know what happened to our house. And yeah, I'm like, I, 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 I had to say something. And I'm like, I didn't tell them what the fucking address is. You know? Right? <laughs> you know, it's not near that tree where. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but yeah, look for the ghost. No, I'm just. Look for the I ghost. actually just remembered. I did have an experience. We talked about it in one of our episodes. I think you I did. tend to block it out because it's so scary. The closet. Um. Yes. <laughs> See, I even knew. I was like, I know what story. <laughs> it's so terrifying. I don't. Do you, you want me to have the mind meld. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> We're there. We're there. Yeah. I mean, I can so, briefly talk about it if you want. And yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've heard that what, episode. What's going on with the closet? Okay, so it was when I was living in California, we were in a um, an apartment and my daughter shared a room with us. And I think she was what, four at this time. She's about to be seven now. I feel like kids are kind of like more in tune to creepy shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> and um, we, I was just me and her, I was off that day. Leading up to that, the like, three days prior I was having really vivid creepy dreams where I was in the bed exact same setup and something was happening in the closet my bed was vibrating the closet door somebody was in there basically it felt like a very negative energy um that day I was getting ready to lay her down for a nap and I laid her in bed the closet door was open a little bit which is weird because I always keep it closed because I'm terrified I'm I'm the friend that you talked about that's afraid of everything that's how I am (laughs) so I laid her down and she just starts crying like so upset and she doesn't do that when she's crying like when she's going to bed she doesn't cry for no reason so she just starts crying like what's wrong what's wrong and she just kept pointing to the closet going the closet the closet and I'm like in the closet (laughs) what so i run over there i slam it shut and i turn around and she's looking at the complete other side of the room and she goes hi lady and i noped the fuck out of there (laughs) so fast we had no shoes on ran out of the apartment and waited for my husband to get home but yeah i staged the fuck out of the house i was like we're not doing this i'm about to move out if this shit doesn't stop and luckily we hadn't had any incidents since then in that particular apartment or at all honestly um i don't get any bad vibes where i'm at Mm -hmm. now where i was at prior so did did you uh, look at uh did you find out the background of what happened in that apartment or something or no i never looked it up i honestly don't want to know i wouldn't (laughs) want to know if somebody had died in the apartment or what it just felt so negative because of the dreams I feel like is what really solidified it for me Yeah, yeah. because it was exactly pertaining to the closet and then mm-hmm. I woke up and I was awake and then that's when the bed was vibrating in the middle of the night and I'm like what the fuck right yeah so yeah. if that hadn't had happened that that incident probably wouldn't have scared me as much but because it was the three days in a row this vivid vivid dream yeah. like I couldn't it just was too coincidental like to be yeah. you know something that you could just explain it was scary and i know like she's four years old what four-year-old is gonna prank their mom like that they don't know mm-hmm. at that point <laughs> especially since she was like so upset and then oh, yeah. as soon as you open Real the closet tears. she kind of just changed a little bit and goes oh hi lady like i'm yeah. sorry what happened no <laughs> one wasn't open nothing <laughs> like there was no lady that was could have walked by the window or anything it, it was like a blank wall so mm. she came from the 10th yeah. floor no okay. who knows <laughs> <laughs> she came from Las Vegas she just went no. <laughs> yeah no she's she's done with elevators and now she's into Serena's apartment so uh, <laughs> closets, <laughs> yeah, closets. They, they had uh there was a uh, I don't know I always have incidents and I know we were talking about V we call it uh people if you don't know uh life paranormal with V yes. Listen to her podcast. You can hear stories. She's a, uh, I almost said druid. No, she's not a druid. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> she, she's a uh, psychic medium. medium. She is Thank a medium. You. I, was yeah. I was gonna say we call it mythic, but then I was like, oh shit! And I'm like, thank you. Uh, we call it medium, and she's like on point with everything. And you know, even mm-hmm. for me, you know, she is on point with whatever I had through Zoom. Yeah. yeah and 
Uh, she had instances and everything else. And I have, like, some, I don't know, instances, I think, of, uh, of, uh, like, I was living in Pennsylvania. And this is the one I told her, which really freaked me out at one point. And I don't freak out, like, at all. Usually I'm like, eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm driving my new car, going down this highway. And you know, like, when you go, uh... When you're younger, you know, and, and, you know, Serena, you have a kid, you know, like sitting in the back seat, uh, you know, and then they put, you know, we used to do that. We put our knees up against uh, the driver's seat yeah. or the passenger seat. And then, you know, mom and dad get fucking pissed. They're like, listen, stop that shit or I'm going to fucking get back there. You know? <laughs> don't make me come back yeah, there. Don't make me come back there. Over. And then they got to the slip her out if you're Italian. Yeah. You know? and, <laughs> and then uh, we call it so, but then. That was like the feel, you know, like you have your knees up on there. I'm like, oh, I just want to get comfortable. Well, I'm driving my car, only one in the car. And I felt that same thing in the back. Now, uh, rewind back, uh, rewind past that uh, when I was married, my wife had cancer. So she passed away like weeks before. You know, and then I was like, all right, well, I got to change my habits now. I got to do this and this. And I got a new car because I've always got used cars. And I'm like, all right, let me get a new one and then be okay. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm like, the fuck is that? Why, why is somebody like kneeing me in the back? And then automatically I'm like, you know, I'm like, yeah. Oh, fuck. And I'm looking in the rear mirror. I'm thinking that you look at movies and like, oh, look, there it is. It's either somebody that you missed or, you know, Satan's in the back seat, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, either way, no. <laughs> but I had like that, and you know, I told you, and she's just like, uh, that is weird, you know. And I'm like, for her to say that's weird, it, mm -hmm. it, it means something, yeah. You know? So, you know, but okay, your turn. What's your scariest shit that you've gone through? <laughs> um, I can't think of anything in particular, but mm. your story reminded me of something that happened a few weeks ago. So right. I got something pretty recent here. I was by myself in, in my apartment. And the week before this happened, I was sitting in the same spot on my couch and I had two books fall from my bookshelf just for no fucking reason. Honestly, they just fell. And I looked over at the books and I'm like, OK, I went over, picked them up, put them exactly back and then stared at them. Yeah. And they didn't do anything. I was like, all right. So about a week later, I'm sitting in the same spot and. I, I heard something in my kitchen, but didn't think much of it. And then all of a sudden I heard beep, beep. And my, uh, microwave turned on. I was like, what sure. the hell? So I go over, I stare at my microwave and it had five minutes. I was like, what the hell? So I turned it off and unplugged it. <laughs> I was like, there was no motherfucking reason that microwave should have turned on by itself. There was nobody else in the house. And I was just the little bit paranoid that I, I did grab my nine and I walked around my house going, is anybody in here? <laughs> like, I really was like, there's no possible reason. I've never had that microwave do anything on its own before because and, that's not how they work. And, and, folks, and when she met nine, her nine volt battery. Um, yeah, exactly. No <laughs> I was going to throw no. it at them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like and try to shock them. Yeah. So. What book? What books were they that fell? Oh, oh yeah. It was uh, Peter Pan and the Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. fucking mm -hmm. munchkins i tell you <laughs> <laughs> but uh the hanging besides, i tell you yeah besides that i can't think of anything besides oh i did have this one it was right after my uh grand my stepdad and my grandpa passed away within four months of each other yeah. and they lived in the same house and i was in the house and it was the witching hour um and i woke up because i heard Tink, 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 tink. And I was so it straight woke me up from a dead ass sleep. And I walk over to where the wine rack is in. It's like between the kitchen and uh, like the living room kind of area in this house. And I watched two wine glasses independently move towards each other. Tink, 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 <laughs> separate, go back together. Tink, 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 <laughs> and separate. 
they that were like cheers motherfucker <laughs> and I, so I took one of the wine glasses took it off the shelf and put it on the ground and then went back to bed but um yeah, those are probably the only experiences I've had as like an adult that I, that really like will definitely stick with me. That microwave and those wine glasses. So you, you you've yeah. been drinking with Liberace, I can see you know, something. Like, oh, like, I don't like, know, Liberace man. Going, hey, let's cheers, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I did think it was funny that it was legit about a month or two after my grandpa passed and mm. my stepdad passed away about four months before that. Yeah. So and it was so so small and it wasn't scary yeah. and it didn't creep me out that I just thought it was so silly that I saw these wine glasses move by themselves and I just went back to bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that, now when you did a, when you did a, we call it a podcast for cryptids or, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, the paranormal kind of stuff. We, what kind of movies were you going to be able to like, were you like a horror thing or were you just like average, just like, well, I watch comedy, I watch this, but, you know, certain people that go into that, you know, watch, like, really tragic, tragic, let me use no my words, words. Are hard. Uh, <laughs> tragic or, you know, a travesty, that's the word I was looking yeah. for, of, like, different kinds of movies that would bring out that whole, like, oh, I should look into this. Yeah. I feel like you'll know if you listen to any episode of our podcast. I don't really watch movies. Like, I like movies and I'll watch them, but there's a list of movies I haven't seen, and it just keeps getting longer and longer and longer. And every episode, Naomi's like, Have you seen this movie? <laughs> Serena says no. <laughs> and so I like scary movies. I don't have anybody in my life that likes to watch them. So I, I don't like to watch them alone because I'm a fucking baby. <laughs> but <laughs> Naomi's definitely the movie girl. She's seen every movie you can think of, I feel. <laughs> I don't think I've seen every movie, but I do love my movies. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely into horror. Uh, like ever since I was a kid, I loved horror movies. I have a collection of uh, what would it be like non speaking movies? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. You know, like like Frankenstein, silent films. Uh, silent films. Thank you. I was non speaking because now they're called speakies. <laughs> but um, no, I've always been into horror films or anything supernatural, paranormal, anything that can like creep me out give me but butterflies and you know I've I've always been into movies like that so yeah, definitely I think I I was into it as a young like from a very young age too I actually so I had this experience as a kid um everything's kind of coming back now that we're talking about it because I don't think we've really had this conversation on our podcast uh -uh. but no. that's how my podcast goes we open up <laughs> I like it get, yeah get the shit so, going here as a kid my uh my father he committed suicide when I was two years old so I didn't wow. really know him um the, my mom and dad they were really heavy into drugs and my grandparents raised me so I kind of feel like I made a chalk to this experience up to just my mom being on drugs and crazy yeah. or whatever right but as a young kid I always would remember seeing this white fluffy dog everywhere like I would usually see it when we we're in a car driving past like mom look at the white fluffy dog or mom look at the white fluffy dog and it was everywhere and my mom always would tell me oh, you always talk about this white fluffy dog and she's like oh it's your dad you know it's something like that but so to me I feel like I always thought it was something kind of paranormal and yeah. it just intrigued me because I don't know what the fuck this white fluffy dog is and why I always see it everywhere I go as a kid Oh, interesting. But that and I like, like my dreams. I feel like my <laughs> dreams are really, we've talked about this. They're crazy. Yeah. I, I, you I, do I like have how Naomi's like, like, it's so interesting. I like it. I do. I'm like, now I need to do research if anybody else has seen white fluffy yeah. dogs in their life. I haven't, and I haven't like, done it, any kind of like symbolism research on what that is or what mm -hmm. that could be, but I'm sure it's out there somewhere. I haven't visited this since I was a child, though. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's like, there, there is like certain animals like totems or something mm -hmm. that, that would resemble and be around you like all the time you know and yeah. you won't recognize it but then when you're said that you're, it's bringing up all the stuff in the past that yeah. you're we call it you know it it's like something that's with you as a little kid as well you know you're just doing your thing and it's like oh i see a dog and but then parents are like the fuck are you talking about yeah, it's <laughs> like you know, okay kid <laughs> it, it's your it, it's your totem or something that's like sticking with you you know it's like mm -hmm. i don't know mine's like i actually saw 
I actually saw this one. Uh, I saw like a black crow, like two of them, and sitting. And it used to sit like on the rail of our patio, and, and we're like on the second level apartment and all that. So mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, because my girlfriend, she, you know, she'll go and and work from home, and I'm in the bedroom. I'm having my eggs. I'm watching TV. All of a sudden, I see two crows just sitting on the rail, just looking at me. I'm like, okay, I can't eat now. When you fucking guys are looking at me. <laughs> Yeah, you know, crows are, are a good sign in Norse mythology. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. what I'm saying because I love like the whole you know Viking thing and everything yeah. else, and hence you know my uh, uh, was it the mascot for my high school was a marauder. So <laughs> oh okay, you know so it's like and I got the Viking tattoo kind of thing and and you know what else do I don't have on my arm? <laughs> you know I got like shit loads and I see that you have something on your arm uh, uh Naomi. Yeah, yeah uh, Serena's got some too. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want. She's covered yeah, up. Yeah, I'm covered up. I got a half <laughs> sleeve though, but I'm cold right now. <laughs> She's like, I didn't know it was going to be on video. You know, you know I didn't know it was going to be a session of tattoos. You know, my head. Like, Look how cool we are. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah especially we call it. My dad turns around and he goes, How many more are you going to get? And I'm like, I don't know. It depends on how much money I got. That's how I feel. It's like, how big can I get this? <laughs> like, well, I, got I, I, had, I had to get the squid on my back, you know, for yeah. the tattoo squid. Uh, <laughs> so I put the moniker on my back. And, uh, but my dad, he was like on me, like from the get go when I started getting tattoos ever since I was like 19. And so then my dad got his first tattoo. Now, oh, he how was old was he? 72. Cool. Mm-hmm. So I love, love that. And then my, my brother sends me this email. This is like when me and my wife first moved to Pennsylvania and I got on my, my computer and got on the email. And it's like, my brother's like, dad's first tat. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. What the fuck does this mean? You know, and then I'm looking at it and then my wife's like, didn't your dad be like against all tattoos? Didn't he want you to get a bull ring in your nose and a tattoo that says dick on your forehead? You know, and I'm like, yeah, that's typical dad fashion. You know, it's like, you know, get a tattoo that says dick on your head. But, uh, <laughs> but, you know, like dickhead, oh. Uh, so, but then he started getting like maybe two, I think he had two or three. I'm not saying had, he's still alive, but uh, he has like maybe four four or something yeah mm-hmm. so i'm like dad why don't we go together and get tattoos done you know it's like it'll be cool but he told me about <laughs> he told me about this uh tattoo artist and he goes oh i go to this, this woman you know, like all the time now and i'm like okay i'm like i'm going with you i want to see who this woman that you that tattooed you i'm like and it's the same one that tattooed me like years before like two or three uh tattoos i had done you know, from her before I moved cool. and all that. I'm like, Jade? She goes, Dre? I'm like, What's up? <laughs> and then nice. she goes, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm here with my dad. He's like, that's your dad? And I'm like, yeah. It's like, apparently you're tattooing to in the family now. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> that's so, awesome, though, yeah. that you went to get it and it happened to be the same person that you have tattoos. And I like that. That's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like, you know, the only one that doesn't have a tattoo in the family is my mom. And she's like, Someone's got to be the same person in this fucking family. You know? <laughs> so I'm like, it's not insane about it. It's just like, you know, it's tattoos. That's it. Everybody gets them. You know, you go. Mm-hmm. To, it's like, oh, but what if you get an office job? I'm like, do you think I would go and do an office job? I'm like, we I'm both like, have oh. office jobs. So well, no, Dude, I mean, I'm just saying. So just that, my general manager is all tatted up. Like, yeah. I think yeah. like his, he has multiple. He has his sleeves and I think he has his legs done. Yeah, I mean, he does. Even, like, he has, nurses yeah. have like tattoos and you yeah. don't even know. You're like, holy shit. You know, what the mm. fuck? You know. Yeah. But especially when they go into the hospital and I had, the, I had a heart problem. And then I, I went to the hospital and all of a sudden I, I'm like laid out. And all of a sudden I'm like. So how many tattoos do you have? And I'm like, <laughs> I thought we we're looking at my heart. Yeah. <laughs> right? like, there's more yeah. important things to talk about right now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm like, my heart first. And then we talk about the tattoos. Okay. You know, because I mean, well, honestly, I was like opened up like the, not my chest opened up. But I mean, like the, the, the gown, uh-huh. itself, you know, and it had like my whole chest tattoo was going on and, um, you know, but, uh, yeah. Have you, uh, we call it, you've got numerous tattoos. Um, what's your favorite tattoo of all? Yeah. Serena, you first. Um, ooh. 
And there's no show it's and tell, tie. So, like, you can just tell. It's, <laughs> it's a tie. So I have a Triforce on my back, which is for my brother who passed away in 2012. Okay. But then I have a sunflower on my leg for my daughter. So it's a tie between those two. I can't oh, okay, play. yeah. No, the Triforce was my first. Triforce was my first tattoo. Um, is so like, far, is it like Zelda, Zelda or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I've seen many people talking about Triforces. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Zelda, Legend of Zelda. Oh, okay. it was a basic tattoo, but it has meanings to me. So hey, mm. I, I don't care. Honestly, I'm not the type of person that feels like there should be a meaning for every tattoo you have one on my yeah. arm i have it because it fucking looks cool like i don't care you know yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. i don't think every tattoo needs to have meaning but naomi what's your favorite tattoo i think uh, i know <laughs> i honestly i think my nazca line is my favorite yeah my and hummingbird what is that I, I you know i never heard that one before so. okay so in peru yeah. um the the nazca people like they're they're native people um they made these giant drawings in the desert they're like miles and miles long so when you're standing next to one there's no possible way you could see it because of how large it is and it's flat on the ground the only way that you can see these is if you're at an aerial point like on a mountain or in a airplane and then you see these giant drawings on the desert ground and one of them is the hummingbird which is my favorite but they also have a giant crane they have monkeys they have one that looks like an alien they have a snake they have a whale um they're just they're all over just the the desert and every single time there's a huge storm that like sweeps away a bunch of the sand and shit they find new ones constantly it's really cool Uh, yeah it's like this like the the crop circles into <laughs> almost except yeah. they're more like like a high, high uh glyphs almost yeah hieroglyphics yeah 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 i i'm not uh, even gonna attempt to like try to spell the word you know because <laughs> i i used to be a spelling bee champion but that is just i can't get it. but just message me we call that that uh we call it the the word so mm-hmm. i mean i can be able to look it up and then i can put it in with the the episode art yeah 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 so, definitely uh, try to try to incorporate that somewhere and all that mine yeah i i I don't really i mean i got favorites but um there's like so many assortment ones i mean i got my dog as a tattoo um and it was like really good and you know i can't really show because of the whole background thing i'm not gonna look (laughs) because i've done this many times and there's nothing behind me but it's on (laughs) zoom and i'm like shit what the yeah, you know, but um, I have like uh, you know the uh, the ocean god uh, Poseidon, you know, okay. and like he has a trident, and you know it's like a whole bunch of mermaids, and uh, you know it's more like a water theme because the tattoo artist, uh, he's like phenomenal, you know, and I'm like the guinea pig, so you know he's like, listen, I got this one, and you know, oh. And that reminds me of another story of a uh, of Friday Friday the Thirteenth story. All uh, right. Um. So they needed help. You know, you know, Friday the Thirteenth tattoos, the little ones. Yeah, yeah. They always like come get was, a Friday the Thirteenth tattoo, and they're always just the little guys. Yeah, yeah. The little I ones, like, one. oh, a little, little back here, <laughs> or a little like pygmy looking thing, or something. I don't know. Um. So I went down there to help my friends out. We called like, listen, we, we're going to do tattooing. We need somebody to work the desk. And I'm like, all right, cool. I, I can I can do stick figures. You know, maybe I'll do those. <laughs> so, uh, but, you know, I do the whole thing. And you go for a second, whatever. And, you know, mark it off and blah, blah, blah. And everything was done. So I'm like, maybe I should get these little ones done too, you know. And, and then all of a sudden he goes, no, I got one picked out for you. I'm like, okay, what is it? Yeah, you know, and I I trust him, you know, because he always makes some crazy fucking outline shit, and this one was the Grim Reaper in the desert with the sickle, and the wind blowing. So his like his uh you know his cape is like not cape, but the 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 gown, yeah. uh, like, you know, the cloak. That's what cloak. I, mean. I kept thinking it's French coat, but that you know, still wasn't right. <laughs> I, I, when I say gown, I'm like people. It's not a high school graduation. No. <laughs> Yeah. I saw it robe, so we're all yeah, off. yeah, the robe exactly. Thank you. Yeah, that so, thing he wears, guys. Yeah. You know what we're talking about. Yeah, so it's like you know that kind of thing. So we're doing this tattoo. It's like nine o'clock, ten o'clock at night, Friday the thirteenth. 
and the weather is changing constantly as it is so like in the afternoon it was sunny then it got sleet then it was raining and then it was snow and then it was high winds and it went back to rain and then it went sleet and there was something that came out at eight o'clock at night and i'm like all right this is fucking strange so yeah. then we get it done and he's putting like the 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 wrapping on and everything else and i made a hand of money he goes you don't need to because you helped us out and i'm like ah fuck it here here take the tip all of a sudden in the bathroom we hear and i'm like the fuck and we're the only ones that's in the fucking tattoo shop so all of a sudden i'm like you you heard that right and he goes yeah but it's probably the pipes or something you know like we just played it off like all right so when we're gonna do the all tattoo and we're like okay let's get the fuck out of here <laughs> yeah and then with the, the quickness yeah it was like it was just like as soon as we said it and it did it and we're like yeah, we got it wrapped it was, it was like that scooby-doo you know where you run and then the smoke is still there <laughs> with your imprint of your body you know <laughs> so we're like uh let's go you know, and then we just got in the downpouring rain and, you know, I went my way, he went his way. And then the next day we talked to the manager guy and he had a guy come by and he was like, it's not the fucking pipes. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. So we're like, mm hmm, okay. Huh. <laughs> so it, it was like was some strange. of those like things that you couldn't, you couldn't really explain it, but you had to be there. So it was like, I don't know, some shit that's like always follows me around or something. I don't know. It's like some weird shit that comes around. I haven't, well, haven't, I haven't seen it lately, you know, so, you know, but you never know. Pride tonight. Yeah, you're talking about it. Sometimes yeah. that happens. All you got to do is mention it. And then all of a sudden you're going to hear yeah, those three bangs on the wall again, man. <laughs> I don't claim any of this. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think they're going to go swooping right into the, into the, the <laughs> you know the online verse but you know <laughs> as it is but i mean um uh what else is there there was like all right so let's talk about uh elevators <laughs> all right yeah. and i still need that to do don't that know game. what i'm talking about <laughs> there's an episode that they did with i think it was a combination i think it was a combination of ouija boards mm -hmm. and and yeah elevators. it was our haunted games episode yeah. it was in october yeah, we, we covered I want to say like six or seven games. Mm -hmm. so I it too. What was the other like four? <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, uh, we know we covered the eleven mile game, the the hide and, hide and seek, seek by yourself, the and what else did we actually talk about? One. Bloody Mary. No, there was the demon one though, where the demon finds you, and you have oh, to I like stay out of your house or something for a certain yeah I, I can't I remember what that one it was called but there was oh. there was a good amount of them on there yeah we called mm -hmm. the demon i think i i heard that one we called out and was i was perfect. like fuck no <laughs> 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 my reactions in that in that episode were so genuine and like for real i was scared we burned incense during that episode the possessions mm. episode and the black eyed children episode those three episodes were our scariest by far uh, the black eyed children episode definitely was pretty creepy um yeah but that's the my elevator favorite game, game yeah that, i liked all of our october episodes were hella fun yeah. <laughs> uh, but the elevator game something that we if, if for those who like true crime uh it <laughs> uh, it really came into light with the elisa lamb case and that she was found dead at that hotel and looking at the security footage a lot of people were saying that she was playing the elevator game yeah. um so that was my theory too yeah and uh, Naomi wouldn't let me talk about it on that episode. I didn't I didn't know that we're not talking about Elisa Lamb I'm but about um, the elevator. <laughs> but um I just think what I really liked about the elevator game is the fact that when I went to like Reddit and I would read other people's like how they would talk about their experiences with the elevator game. It really does seem like that you went to a different dimension or, or you went through some sort of portal. And I just really liked how all of the stories had the same as soon as they were finished with the game and they stepped out of the elevator into this quote unquote other world. 
that they saw like this really bright red moon or sun like right right there that they could see perfectly and I, I just thought, thought that cross was it a cross okay I think it, it was a red a I think it was like a red yeah. cross because yeah, that and, showed up in one of my games too remember yeah. We're like what the fuck yeah and I just I remember thinking like that's too much of a coincidence and I just know that all the stories that I was looking up, like I try to get some from different countries. It did originate in Japan, I believe, but um, a lot of people in the States have tried it. People in Europe have tried it and like everybody has the same experience. And this is a game that you do play by yourself, which means like people could totally make shit up all they want. But then some of them, you're like, there's no way they're making this up. (laughs) I don't know. It's just, it was very intriguing and I still want to play it. I'm not, I'm not going to be scared. I'm going to fucking do it one of these days. I'm going to play. You're crazy. <laughs> I want to, I want to go and see, cause there is a movie called 1408, um, which is, is a, that the John Cusack movie? Yeah. Yeah. We call yeah. it, uh, oh, uh, the, the motherfucking guy with the motherfucking snakes on the plane. Uh, Samuel Jackson. Uh, Samuel Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, which I, I, I can't watch that movie as it is. I mean, the only one movie I can't fucking watch is Cujo for some reason. And I'm a horror guy, but I just, you know, the whole fact of your own dog attacking you and you have to, like, you know, put it down or so, you know, yeah. with the rabies. I'm like, strikes home. Um, <laughs> but that's not 1408, folks. I know it's mixed up, but you know, 1408 <laughs> is basically... It's all Stephen King, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Actually, I, I don't mean, know. <laughs> Which Quantum Leap did an episode of the Stephen King one. So uh, mm. I don't know if you ever seen the the TV show. Some pe- some people that were younger, they're like, "The fuck is that?" You know, <laughs> I mean, believe me, it's happened to me. Uh, you know, I, I I'm like, "Oh, you know, I've been listening to Poison. Who the fuck is that?" I'm like, oh, my God. "You're like, damn." I'm like, I'm, I'm my father now. I'm like, shit. You know, like, you know, WBAB or something. It's like, oh, you know, Slayer's a classic music. What? No. right it's like since since when <laughs> yeah but anyway 1408 um i know i'm sidetracking here um you know a movie with john cusack samuel l jackson battle hotel is a writer that wants to go to this hotel there is a 1408 they're saying that there is no 1408 and he's like i know for a fact there's a 1408 i did the research deep dive like you guys do and uh we call it that and he's looking and he found 1408 they Gave him a, a an affidavit to write or you know, sign and all that that he's not to yeah. you know put this out there and everything else because they gotta have too much thing and then um uh you know and then we just go and we see him going into this room and then the room yeah. is all fucking crazy you know so for that moment I'm like I want to go see that that room. <laughs> <laughs> right you know, see if there is a room like that you know like you were talking about with the elevators and going to different mm-hmm. levels like you go to you know level two then level five then level yep. three, level six well there's rules it's a game you gotta yeah, follow but, the rules right yeah I, like i was saying to serena we could that you know when the person that's gonna walk into an elevator and you're not supposed to look at her you know, mm-hmm. or him, or whatever. acknowledge her. You cannot acknowledge her. Yeah. So I'm like, I, I, you know, I see somebody walking in. I'm like, I, I'm gonna have to glance to see who the hell it is. You know, I'm like, okay, <laughs> what the fuck? But then, am I gonna turn gray? Am I gonna, you know, am I gonna lose a leg? You know, is you she know. gonna just straight up attack me? Yeah, or something. You know, is there, or or is she just gonna be like one of those, like it's a regular lady, but then it turns out to be like this huge monster going, you know, <laughs> like oh shit. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and then you know, or as as uh, I have a friend that's from Peru as well, uh, we call it you know, and she uses this saying, and she doesn't listen to this podcast because I know she doesn't, but I'm just gonna use her phrase that she always uses when we pick up like heavy objects, and she's like, ah, oh my god, I'm gonna shit my pants, you know. So, <laughs> I'm like, is that a Peru thing, you know? And she's like, no, that's my thing, you know. So, but cool person um but uh what kind of music now i'm you know i figure we're just we're going all over the place so i mm-hmm. like to do that uh what kind of music do you lovely ladies listen to uh to buy the time where there's nothing no books falling down and <laughs> uh clinging glasses and closets <laughs> opening up 
I know that um, she, she's off doing the, her uh, doing a mom thing. So, yeah. well, um, let's see. What was I listening to on the way over here? Because I I pretty much like all music. I was fortunate enough to my my mom and my stepdad actually own or didn't own, but they managed a record store for over ten years when oh, I was nice. growing up. So. I mean, for those of you who don't know what a record store is, you know, it, that's pretty much like, um, it was awesome to grow up there. I was there every weekend and I would say like the only like genre of music I'm not like, like awesome, like love to listen to. I don't yeah. really enjoy country a whole lot, but I do appreciate a lot of country music. Um, my favorite genre is probably ska. I, I love ska, okay. like right. reggae, punk mixes. I love it. So Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, you know, yeah. what we call it. And then those people are like, what is a record store? It's that circular thing that you put on the, you know, with a needle. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. <laughs> like they like have many CDs also, wheel. okay? <laughs> it's not a steering wheel. No. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. but, so uh, Serena, no. are we on? <laughs> I think uh, she is uh, doing her mom thing right now. The kid uh -huh. needed help with something. So. Yeah. Sorry, I oh. have to go, but Naomi, end this episode out on a good note. <laughs> it was very nice to meet you. No problem. <laughs> yep. No Take problem, girl. Okay, <laughs> bye, guys. Right, yeah, bye. Take it easy. <laughs> um folks but, they, that was the that was a mother moment you know yes. <laughs> she's got to take care of the kiddo you know yeah um. <laughs> but uh yeah we call it so people records are something that you put on the thing you put a needle on there and then you listen to music and it goes around and around and around mm -hmm. and if you do it the other way you might hear something <laughs> what um, band was it that said like uh, how to do something with the devil which which record was that you gotta know what oh. what am i thinking of um i know oh beatles the beatles had like if you play one of their records backwards yeah. it says like uh paul killed john or something like yeah, that and it's like there's some what? craziness <laughs> with the you know music and all that yeah. where you can do the whole thing and there's actually a movie um oh that, the gate there's a movie called the gate Mm -hmm. And uh, it had a young. You, you seen the movie Blade? Uh, yes, yes, I have. Since you're the movie person, because you know she was not the, <laughs> the movie person. Uh, you know we call it, so Blade, and there was like the 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 villain. I, I'm not good with names. Uh, I know Wesley Snipes, but I don't know what the Dolph. I think no. J yeah. Uh, oh, um, Stephen Dolph or yeah, something uh, like Stephen that? Dorf. Stephen Dorf. Dorf. Yeah. yeah. Dwarf, so, Stephen Dwarf. <laughs> so, yeah, because, uh, well, hold on, let me write this name down. So, uh, get a good, uh, uh, but he played the bad guy. <laughs> he played the bad guy. But in the movie The Gate, he's like like a 12 year old boy. Oh. Um, you know, very young, very young. And it has like his neighbor, his best friend is like into like heavy metal. Yeah. So he's, he's in there and he's listening to like, you know, like bands called the the Killer Dwarfs. You know, okay. And there is a band called the Killer Dwarfs, so they were listening to that. But then all of a sudden they put the record backwards. And they go, you, you know, you, you know, and they do this whole thing. And I don't uh -huh. know what the whole word was, but and it turned out to make it so, uh, uh, you know, it, uh, devastating because you know the stuff that was going on because he had like some kind of gate in his backyard. Okay. You know? So the, the, the there's like this huge hole and he has these little minions that come out, you know, and then everything that would happen, you figure it's a dream, like his dog was like automatically dead for some reason. Mm. And then some and then the parents went out, but then they came back and they were undead or something, and you figure he was dreaming. And then his friend turned into like a zombie. It was just wacky, you know. I, I'm I gotta check that out now. Yeah. Like, it's well, like, now uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I need to see this. Yeah. It's like, what are you? What? 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 <laughs> now I need to know what the hell's happening. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like the killer to work. Now I gotta write this down. <laughs> e W. Well, it'd be like right. speaking of like metal music. Um, I was I I live near um a little uh place where there's lots of concerts happening yeah. throughout the you know whatever it's so within walking distance of my house and i always try to get tickets if there's like a band or a musician there that i want to see and cannibal corpse 
Oh. I haven't been to a metal show in a while and Cannibal Corpse is coming by. And I think I talked my boyfriend into going with me. So I might be seeing Cannibal Corpse. Now, and now I have you seen them or I have not seen them live. No. Oh, no. Oh, you're 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 into it. Yeah. You're, you're sweet. And I, dude, I haven't been to a metal show since like Ozfest at like 2006 so i'm like i need to get some metal music in my life right now <laughs> I, I mean i never been to like an Ozfest like ever you know i think a friend of mine was gonna take me but then you know i had work and i'm like shit i can't fucking life take happens it. yeah it's like i need money you know i need money yeah. to take it and the beer and, you know. <laughs> but it was just like uh you know campbell Courts. i think also did um there is a cartoon uh called De uh Def Corp. Ah, oh, I forget the name of it. Uh, but it's on not Nickelodeon. <laughs> it's not Nickelodeon. <laughs> Can you it's, imagine? Uh, um, uh, shit. It, it's uh, it, it. You know, it has all these like crazy like cartoons and okay. and some people be like, I know what it is. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> but Def Clock, Def Clock is called. You know. The, oh, the band from um, what show is that on Adult Swim? Uh, that's, what, that's what I was trying to figure out. Uh, uh, I was going to remember. Say, I was going to say we call it Robot Chicken, but I don't think it's that. Not Robot Chicken. Oh, but it is Death Clock. I, I know yeah. which band you're talking about, but why? Oh, this is also a phenomenon. When you're trying to remember something, I was actually looking at it today. I was doing research on Deja Vu yeah. that the whole tip of the tongue thing, like it's right there. We we know what, what it is. Yeah. And that our mind decides to block because we're trying to remember, but it's blocking things at the same time because yeah, we're trying yeah, yeah. to remember something specific. We'll remember in like the next 10 to 15 minutes watch. And we're going to go, that's the name of the freaking show. Yeah, I know. I feel like, you know, we're just, you know, sitting there going to, you know, being like doing mm -hmm. a meeting. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I know what it is. You know, and exactly like, what are you talking about like oh wait, that's something from like yesterday like i remembered something that i was supposed to remember a week ago <laughs> yeah i know it's like oh shit but yeah. uh uh yeah so they had that and then they made a batman uh heavy metal video um <laughs> and it had like batman singing doing the cannibal corpse like vocal. okay nice and 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 yes folks the lead singer's name is corpse grinder Yes, yeah. yes, it is. So, you know, I, I forgot what the whole name is, but I know a corpse grinder is in the name. You oh. know, he patented that shit right there. I tell you right now, so he's a huge fucking guy too. Um, yeah. But it was, so they, they did the voice for that whole thing, and then you had like Robin doing head head banging, and there's like all this Marvel shit and everything. Else. Uh, but you know that. I, I've been to a couple, like, metal uh, things. You know, I went to, like, a thing called Down. They had, like, mixtures of different artists, like Phil Ensemble and um, Rex Brown from Pantera. And then they okay. had two guys from an L band and uh, Pepper Keen from Corrosion and Conformity. And, and it was just awesome, and especially when you meet them backstage and you go to the thing, which I never even mm -hmm. figured. I didn't even fathom that I was going to be, like, backstage. Or That's cool though. Tour bus. I was like, oh shit. And I'm like, ah. hopefully I can remember this shit. <laughs> Especially when they tell me, hey, why don't you smoke this pipe? And <laughs> you're then, like, you what's know, in this pipe? <laughs> yeah, I know. And then your foreman, which, yeah, again, I don't think he listens to this and, you know, this mm. podcast as it is, but my foreman was like, he, he dabbled in a couple of snowy mm. substances. Um, <laughs> And he's telling me, no, why you, why you, don't smoke that pipe, you know what's in it. And then I'm like, this comes from a guy that did coke on a fucking table of a cafeteria. Oh, God. You know, and I'm like. You're like, and you're worried about this. Yeah, and I'm like, and you're worried about me. I'm like, I, I'll be fine, you know, no problem. And I'm like, mm -hmm. and I smoke cigarettes, and I'm like, you know, no problem. <laughs> and I drank beer, and I had, like, their food, and I'm like, mm -hmm. very hospitable people. That's cool. Um, and we went on the tour bus and we're hung, hanging out. And I'm like, I have no money to my name. You know, thank God I'm going with my friends back to the train station. And all of a sudden we get to Penn Station. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting on the step. 
<laughs> and I looked at my foreman, and I'm like, so, when we're getting to Penn Station? He goes, motherfucker, we're in Penn Station. I told <laughs> you're you not to you're smoke sitting that in Penn Station. <laughs> yeah, but I told you not to smoke that pipe. You know, and, like, <laughs> and then next thing you know, I'm like asleep on the fucking train. Yeah, you know? and then oh, shit. thank God they got me home. Right, but, um, good friends, good friends. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like I'm. I'm hope I'm not keeping you awake because I know you had stuff beforehand, and you know you got on, and so no, just uh, got off work. It's oh, all good, man. You know, downtime, people. Downtime. Yes. You know, <laughs> be talking about different stuff and everything else. It's a podcast. That's what we. It's do. all good, man. You yeah, know? but um. So what goes on for now? Tell everybody what the podcast is about. I, even though we right. kind of get a hinder of what <laughs> we're talking about here, but yeah. You know. All right. Well, it is a weird mythic podcast. We're on you know every platform you can think of. Um, we like to definitely talk about cryptids a lot. Like I said earlier, that we always try to have at least one to two episodes a month with cryptids. But we also kind of dive into anything that's sort of paranormal or just flat out strange and weird. You know, any phenomenon or any anything that can't be easily explained or has never really been explained, at least, you know, in, in a scientific way, I guess, you yeah. know. So just anything strange and weird. Um, I'm very much into cryptids. Um, I have lists and lists of cryptids that I want to talk about, but I also have stuff like UFOs or um like weird disappearances that people, you know, that there's like a group of people that like, there's a lot of people who have disappeared in the ocean and have never been found again or in a national forest. There's a lot of people who have disappeared in like Yosemite that people are like, where the hell are they? And then they'll show up, then they'll show up 15 months later in a different state. So it's like, I like to talk about things that are just very strange and haven't been explained before. And, you know, what strange, about, weird stuff. What about uh, Bermuda Triangle? Since you talked about like, you know. Yeah, we definitely want to talk about like the Bermuda Triangle. And then there's also the Bridgewater Triangle that I wanted to talk about. And I think there's another type of UFO triangle up near like the Alaska area. Like kind yeah. of like where, where a gnome is. Um, but definitely, definitely want to talk about Bridgewater Triangle. Because not only do they have a lot of... Um, alien stuff but they have like ghost stories um people disappearing strange phenomenon just driving down the road like the lady in white they'll see a lot of the time so yeah. Yeah, just cool. anything that can't really be explained i really like to just kind of dive into that and try to not not explain it but understand it because everybody yeah. has a different experience but it's with the same thing and how they got there is always different what would you think about Bermuda Triangle as it is? Like, if you were looking into it, and then do you think it would be, like, some kind of... Now, I, I was talking to, uh, uh, this is, like, maybe a couple months back. There's mm-hmm. a podcast called Loner uh, Podcast. And uh, I'll do an honorable mention here. And <laughs> then, um, you know, because we were talking about Bermuda Triangle. Like, what is, you know, could be the whole you know, phenomenon about the whole thing, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm like, oh, it could be anything from barometric uh, pressure and, you know, or the, the, you know, the sea floor could be like, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff that could happen, like underneath the yeah. sea floor can make it, you know, rumble a little bit and, you know, ships are disappearing or there can be an actual fucking door like right there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and, Why not? You know, and then the golden girls are on the outside. Hey. <laughs> You know, which which I, I still I still feel bad now because I, I did have one question and so you know, pretty white. Oh, you know, it's all good. Yeah, we're, we're, we're all your friends. You know? Yes. But, uh, 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 so basically you told everybody where to find you guys at now. You know, you're mm-hmm. in different platforms uh, yeah you got us on apple spotify good pods i really like good pods the people there are really cool but you could also like just look up weird mythic podcast you can find us on facebook and instagram serena's always on twitter so good for yeah. her because i'm not ever on there <laughs> oh it's fun i mean you have a great time on there you're just like you know because mm-hmm. you want to see the episode art that i do you know? yeah i do yes yes i have yeah. followed you i think yeah. i hope i did Hopefully, I'm not an asshole. I think yeah. I followed you. <laughs> I think I followed you. It's a squid. Yeah, so. yeah, like I, I thought that was you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, there, there's actually two. There's actually two uh, squids. You know. Yeah. There's one called Squid Talks, and then there's me and all that. And I'm like, oh, my cousin. 
you know? my cousin because <laughs> you know, i'm like i might have to get him on the show which i did you know and then uh-huh. I'm like you know me and you are probably related and he goes gosh oh, because of the squid and i'm like yeah uh, yeah well, we did an episode with the, the girl from Weird Horizon, and she does a lot of paranormal stuff. She did a really good one on UFO, uh, like religion, like how yeah. people really believe in UFOs. And we were like just a couple of weirdos. We're all weird. <laughs> weird Horizon and Weird Mythic. So. We are just Mythic and not the pizza. It's not Mystic Pizza. Not Mystic. <laughs> it's, it's Mystic Pizza, not Mythic. Yeah. I got that all wrong. It's so sorry. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> We forgive you. Uh, <laughs> just don't go and ban me. No, <laughs> no but uh, so you got any like merch as a... We do no. have merch. Um, uh, I know that all of the links are on our Twitter or oh. and even on, my, on the Instagram. If you go to our link tree, it takes you directly to our merch. Or if you go to our website, which is um, just weird mythic podcast at uh, or dot com. I think it's from Winx or whatever is the other little platform that we have our oh, website yeah. through. Um, but like yeah, witches, we do have like the witches Winx. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we do have merch. We got like shirts and sweaters. We have even masks. If people are still masking up, you can yeah. wear us on your, your on your face. Um, I think we even have uh, phone cases also. So. Yeah, I got oh. uh, mine. We call it. Uh, oh, if you go to Linktree. L-I-N-K- yeah, more links. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, go, yeah, go, go to l i n k t r dot e e four black slash <laughs> tattoos. Right, t a two s q u i d. Like it's much has... easier to just go to our Instagram or yeah. our Twitter. You'll find all of our links there for anything weird mythic. But I'm saying we call it, if you go to like the store, like mm-hmm. the store I have is like you know it's tattoo squid. It's t a two s q u i d pod dot fredless dot com. You can get like what you just said, masks, uh, mm-hmm. phone cases, uh, pictures of my, you know, certain assortment of pictures I have for the podcast, for um, stickers or magnets or shower curtains. Shower curtains, I love yeah, it. Oh, imagine having a shower <laughs> curtain with a fucking squid on it. Oh. That's what I was just saying. Like, I just love the squid. Yeah. <laughs> the well, shower there's like curtain. certain ones. I got. Uh, there's one. Of the squ- I don't know if I have it for all of them, but I know mm-hmm. like one or two has uh the the like this guy. Yeah. Um, and then there's one that's like another squid that's in like a, a swamp area, mm-hmm. um, and it looks really cool. And on skateboards as well. So you get huh. skateboards and a whole bunch of, th- and then tote bags. Uh, yeah, I think get... we have some tote bags. I know we have stickers also. Yeah. Oh, we got to like, you know, send each other fucking stickers. You know? We're going to have to, because yeah. I need stickers for my binder of research. <laughs> oh yeah. You got to get, you got to get the, we call it the board. You know, you got to like put it out there and get like, cause I got a whole mm-hmm. bunch of stickers from certain people, a certain amount of people and all that. And, and folks, if you haven't sent any stickers, just ask for my address and we'll, <laughs> we'll, you know we'll, we'll swap stickers swap you know? stickers <laughs> yeah we'll just swap the stickers and promos and mm-hmm. you know whatnot yes i'm still working on mine because i gotta do the thing with jury podcast uh jury room <laughs> podcast which is another uh um oh i put down munchkins <laughs> okay yeah uh <laughs> hold on this is gonna be some uh we call it uh episode arts episode but, arts yes um <laughs> campbell quartz that's gonna be in it too <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um uh, all right everybody have a good night follow weird mythic podcast yes thank you for having us on here podcast. but um, yes. i'm gonna talk to you a little bit you know just you know give you a mm-hmm. run you know would you uh would you think about the, the whole thing and um, which I always do with everybody else. Uh, yeah. And everybody have a good night. You know, follow. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, go to YouTube, like, subscribe, and comment on if you want to see more videos and who you want me to interview. And you know, celebrity wise or whoever. Um, and and on Anchor, if you go to Anchor, you can go and like, comment, leave a message. You know, um, and also support where you can donate like you know basically you know like 
two dollars, eight dollars, nine ninety nine, <laughs> whatever. Um, it helps the podcast out, uh, and soon I'll have my own podcast like room. Um, once we get a house, whoop. yeah, mm-hmm. whoop, whoop. <laughs> and all that jazz. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna go whoop whoop on a cannibal corpse fucking show. You know, <laughs> you, know you gotta go in there. You're so like much... whoop whoop. And be like, yep. oh, fuck There'd be like. Are you at the right show? Yeah, I know. I swear. Yeah, like, <laughs> you are, you know, new kids are over there. You know, you know but you know, then the boyfriend be like, no, no, I see new kids. No, 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 uh, not happening. You know, uh, great. Now the beatbox people are going to be like, why that's, are you making fun That's of okay. Me? They can. They can do that. Yeah. Plus he was on Saw. You know, Donnie Wahlberg. No, Donnie. Yeah, was that? yeah Donnie. Oh. Donnie was on he Saw. was on Saw. Yeah. He was. He was the cop. He yeah, was. He that's was a right. good guy. He yeah. was a good yeah. guy. Yeah. That's right. I forgot. That's that's and, another Wahlberg. And Chester, well, God rest his soul. You know, uh, Chester. Oh. Uh, uh, it's like uh, Ben Bennington from, um, yeah, yeah, yeah Lincoln Park. Park. Mm-hmm. That episode, I don't know. I forgot what Saw. Saw five or six. I don't know which one. It, no, it's not six. No, that's the ending one. Uh, it could be three or four or mm-hmm. five. Um, I don't know if you ever seen the episode or the saw thing. I was like, nasty folks, nasty. So, <laughs> but I'll watch it and and still. See, you know, no yeah, I'm good. I love the saw movies. I'm with you there, man. <laughs> oh, there you go. You know, yes. my girlfriend will be like, "The fuck are you watching?" And all of a sudden, the head just cuts right off, and she goes, "Yeah, hey, okay, I'm going to sleep." And I'm like, <laughs> "I can sleep no problem." But yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, take it easy. I'm going to talk to Naomi for a little bit, mm-hmm. and then, you know, I'll post this, like, in a couple of weeks, maybe cool. a month, because I go in order, but I'll explain <laughs> to her afterwards. All right, take it easy, folks. All right, bye. And then, oh, wait, hold on.